My name is Zach Ellis, and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way, along with a few friends, of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoy this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, and of course, enjoy the video. So today we are uh, installing slicks on the SRT4. This is all in preparation for racing tomorrow. So I'm doing autocross tomorrow, back out in Maryland again. Uh, I've had these slicks for about a year, year and a half, something like that, and I just haven't used them. So I think today is gonna be the day where I finally install them and see what they do. Everyone says it's like, it'll just completely change the characteristics of the car with slicks over 200 treadwear tires. So I'm gonna try and figure that out today. Well, tomorrow, when, or Sunday when the race is. Um, I have BF Goodwrench G-Force tires. They're uh, 215s, which I'm jumping down from 200 treadwear, 235 tires to, I believe these are zero treadwear, 40 treadwear, uh, 215. So, a little bit narrower tire, but a slick. So people are saying that it's still gonna make a huge difference, an, an improvement, I should say. So I am, I picked these wheels up at Carlisle for a hundred bucks, I think. I may have paid 80 bucks. Either way, I got four slicks for really cheap, considering brand new, they're like 300, 350 bucks a piece. So instead of $1,500, I paid, we'll say $100. So I got a, obviously a steal. Um, and I'm gonna test, so I'm gonna test how much of a difference they really make by racing them autocross on Sunday. And the way I'm gonna tell if they would have been an improvement or not is typically the people that I race with, some of the cars, like I know with the Focus STs, I'm very close to the same exact time. Sometimes I beat those guys. Sometimes they beat me, they, you know, it's never consistent. It's always up or down. And then I know with the Honda Civic Si, which he will be there tomorrow or Sunday, he usually beats me by about two seconds. I'm gonna see how much I can close that gap and it's gonna end up solely being because of the tires essentially because I haven't changed my car at all. And from what I know, the, the Si driver has not changed his car at all. So it's gonna be a pretty cool comparison. But for now, I'm gonna head out to the garage. When we get there, I will show you the slicks, and then we're gonna head over to my boy Bill's shop, uh, Hardline Fabrication, and he's gonna let me use his tire machine to swap out the tires. All right, so we gotta grab these. Unload them from the stack of tires. I don't even know what. Oh, those are my stock truck wheels. All right, we'll unload those wheels. Load them up in the back here, but let me show you what the slicks are. All right, so what we have here are BF Goodrich G-Force radials. Um, these tires were made in August 2019, so um, they still got a lot of life left in them. Like I said, they're 215, uh, I believe that translates to 215, 45, 17s. These should, in theory, fit on the stock wheels perfectly. They're 215, so 215, 17s, they're gonna fit. Um, these are from originally a spec Miata racing, so track racing, like bumper to bumper Miata racing. Um, I think it was actually like the MX-5, so like the newer body style of the Miata. So we're gonna go ahead, throw, keep these in the truck, load up the stock SRT four wheels, and we will head over to Bill's shop to get these things mounted and balanced. the wheels all loaded up tires are in here um, these are actually whoa. when I first got my car I wanted to get it bone stock so I could document the the transformation you know from bone stock to wherever it ends up uh, these tires I actually I did one autocross race 
with these stock tires of course it's three different tires that are mounted on these so um, that didn't help me any but I got to feel what the car would have done at autocross on stock old street tires um, bone stock performance you can actually see let me drop my tailgate this you can see this groove right here in the tire I don't know if you guys can see that or not where it looks like it was cut that is actually that is actually from when I did that first race. I actually did two races, I, I lied, two races on stock. I ran these tires, the car was terrible. The car made too much power for the car, it just kept spinning the wheels. The second race I did, I had installed my coilovers. Um, at that race, the car, I set it too low and that's where the car rubbed through the wheel well liner and hit that pinch weld, which in like, I think a video or two videos ago, I actually, showed you how to remove that pinch weld so i'll uh, i'll link that one here in the video just so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about but got them all loaded up i'm gonna go ahead close up my garage and we will head over to bill's shop to get these things installed oh and this time i finally grabbed my sprayer the last four races i forgot my sprayer every time so i'm over there bargaining with people hey can i use your compressor can i use your tire sprayer not this time, we are prepared. So it's the next day now. I uh, just met up with Dage and Ryan and we are headed out to Ripken Stadium out in Aberdeen, Maryland. So I'm gonna get a little bit of rolling shots and I'll update you guys when we get there. about building a little trailer to pull behind my car so we can put my slicks on it or whatever I have that I want to bring all my tools and there's a guy here racing with us today that has a trailer so I'm gonna go over here and inspect it quote unquote get ideas so when I decide if I decide to make mine I have a good starting point <laughs> Dude, it's such a simple design. Oh yeah. I think this is a Harbor Freight trailer too. 40 by 48. Tire, he's got the little tire holdings, which are perfect. And a little toolbox in the front. And he doesn't even have a drop down leg, he just uses the pole. That's smart. Did we throw, pass him on the way up? Yeah. Got the greasable hubs on there. Yeah. Everyone's like, upgrade to the greasables. All right, headed to grid. Gonna get in line here and hopefully put down some speed. I'm excited to see how these tires feel. I forgot my dang spray bottle. All right, in grid, parked up. I'm gonna run get my spray bottle for my tires and we'll uh, get to racing.
and they were spinning still. Holy fuck. That was good. Hopefully my numbers didn't fly out the fucking door. I'm worried about your damn numbers. I don't think they did. Well, they were in the back window. Oh, were they? Yeah, my old number letters. Whoops. I think you were right. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> ah, that was grippy. Holy shit. Damn. Civic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my gas is L O W. Oh shit. I might have to go straight to the gas station after the next run. Right. <laughs> and come back. Thanks, sir. <laughs>
finished up racing today. I finished my work cycle. Um, I gotta say, I'm impressed. The slicks, in my opinion, made a big difference. As far as timing goes, instead of me being two seconds behind that uh, Honda Civic that I'm typically behind, I was around a second and a half, I think. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'll put my time and I'll put his times on the screen so you can see them. Um, I know he was still faster. Either way, he was still faster than me, so it didn't bridge the gap quite like I was hoping, but the car f felt better. It just handled better. Um, it had better grip going around turns and stuff. It didn't want to, not that it over or understeers a lot, but the car just didn't have the tendency to understeer as much as it does normally, um, which made me happy. It just, maybe it was a placebo effect, I don't know, but it felt like the car was more planted. Um, I can't say that, I think it would be a bigger difference if I was running the same size tires I have now, but slicks. I could see if I had 235 slicks, it would be night and day, which coincidentally I just picked up yesterday 245 slicks. I, uh, I'm not going to install them on these wheels only because these tires are still good and I use these wheels for daily driving. I'm not, I can't drive slicks every day. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Hopefully, maybe this inspires you to not only get out and do autocross, but also to maybe explore the option of running slicks. It's uh, definitely an experience. Slicks are something unique. They are expensive, but they're out there. You look on Marketplace, you can find used slicks all over. Um, and that's what I would recommend doing. But other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one.